we start this episode, we have made a trade. We traded Malik Beasley and a 2021 20, top five protected Grizzlies first round pick to the Nets for OG Anunobi. Someone in my comment section told me it's Anunobi. I thought it was none of the, but I guess I'm gonna call him Anunobi. I did remember to change the quarters back to eight minutes, and the Seattle Sea Lions will be taking on the Charlotte Hornets here after the Widows Arena. The Sea Lions are actually three and one. After we lost the first game, we've won our past three, and the Hornets have a very, very good future. They have Markel Fultz and De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox coming off the bench. I think they should play Fultz at shooting guard, because the starting shooting guard is Jeremy Lamb. De'Aaron Fox will be more important to this team than Jeremy Lamb. It's Steph Curry with the steal. Not Steph. Steph. Over to Jonathan Isaac, but a bad pass. Curry does get it back, though. Over to Isaac. Over to Tyler Eulis. Eulis for free. No good. They bounded by Zebo over to Rudy Davis. Hornet team also looks very different. They don't have Kemba. Kemba's with the Hartford Sharks. The other expanded team that expanded with the Seattle Sea Lions. And those Sharks also have Michael Porter Jr. and Carmelo Anthony. So those are our expansion rivals. It's hard to determine who is the better future. As offensive free second violation on Clint Capella, who has been the Sea Lions best player this year, averaging 15 points and 11 rebounds in the first. Four games, but he does get that little. Bleh. As Rudy Gay will inbound it to Mr. Fultz. Fultz guarded by no one. Just kidding, guarded by Tyler Ulis. Over to Zebo, over to Jeremy Lamb. Lamb guarded by Seth Curry, not Steph. Over to Rudy Gay. Gay guarded by Isaac. Over to Zach Randolph. Randolph back to Gay. Rudy Gay with a three. No good. Isaac with the board. Isaac over to Capella. Capella over to Ulis. I won't show the whole game, by the way, like this. I'm just, until we get, it, there's a basket by either team. As will that basket be by Jonathan Isaac? Nope. Sorry. <laughs> As Kaminsky with the board over to Fultz. Fultz guarded by Tyler Ulis. He's going to give it to Rudy Gay. Gay guarded by Jonathan Isaac. He's going to look for a lamb. Isaac trying to help there, but it didn't really work. Ulis. He goes over to Seth Curry. Curry with a three bucket. Jonathan Isaac will be inbounding to it. Who he inbounded to go. He's going to inbound it to Curry. Curry, pump fake. Going to try to drive. Terrible defense from Lamb over to Deonta Davis. Davis with a mid range shot. That goes in. Bringing the ball up. He's going to give it to Deonta Davis. Davis over to Eulis. Eulis, pump fake. Trying to go around Isaac, but that didn't work. He's going to just give it to Jonathan Isaac. Isaac back to Eulis. Eulis over to Clint Capella. Capella over to Isaac. Isaac with the drive, with the layup. No. Fultz with the rebound. Fultz and Isaac both from the 2017 NBA draft class. Rudy Gay over to Frank Minsky, who's wide open. Misses it, but Zebo gets the board and gives the Hornets the lead. Capella will inbound it to Mr. Curry. Curry wide open at the top of the key. He's going to let it fly. Great release. Isaac Bonga made both of his three throws because he's a beast. De'Aaron Fox running the point now for the Hornets. As Fox. Stolen by Clint Capella. Capella over to Isaac. Isaac driving it. Isaac gets by De'Aaron Fox. Two hands for safety. As Jonathan Isaac slamming it over Burt's hands and... Cody, what to say? Zell Galloway guarded by Bonga over to De'Aaron Fox. Fox guarded by Curry. Nice defense by Curry. He almost broke Fox's ankles, and Fox is the one for ball. Fox makes a very tricky shot, even though he's not even a good shooter. Curry bringing it up. He's gonna give it to Isaac. Isaac guarded by Davis Bertons or Bertons. I think it's probably Bertons. He's gonna give it to Clint Capella. Capella pump fake. Back to Isaac. Isaac pump fake. He'll give it back to Capella. Capella, tricky shot in the paint. No good, but Capella gets his own board. And with the dunk. Nasty dunk. As Cody Zeller just wanted to... That's not Cody Zeller. That's someone else. Whoever that was, he wanted to run out of the way. Who is that? Huh. As Fox over to Langston Galloway. Galloway over to Zeller. Oh, it's Cole Aldrich. Cole Aldrich is the one who ran away. It's Fox. Missing the three. I told you he was a very good shooter. Isaac Bongo with the ball. Bongo wide open. No one miles from him. He does miss it. Isaac with the board though. Isaac back to Bongo. Bongo over to Isaac. 
Isaac over to Capella. Capella back to Isaac. Isaac's gonna shoot for three. And he'll make it. Off a lucky oh, bounce. Three by Isaac, by the way. It's Montrez Harrell for steal. Montrez Harrell is gonna bring it himself. He's gonna give it to Curry, actually. No, he's gonna take it back from Curry. And he'll get the basket. Randy McCoy will inbound it to Eulis. Eulis, he's gonna let it fly from three. And he'll miss it. Wide open three is in this game, man. Don't know what to say. Salt's guarded by the partly injured Swisherson over to Fox. I guess Fox is playing shooting guard. That's what they should do. Malachi Richardson or Swisherson, whatever you want to call him with the steal. Swisherson gonna take it to coast to coast, but he gets blocked. As Fox over to Rudy Gay. Gay over to Tyler Ewells, I guess. He goes over to the very efficient Jonah Bolton, who's been very efficient in three games this season, gets the end one. His free throw went in and out, though. As Gay over to Fultz, Fultz over to Zebo, Zebo over to Zeller, Zeller over to Fultz. Fultz wide open three, Swisherson let him be wide open, and Markel Fultz took full advantage. His Uless. Finds a wide open OG Anunobi. His first shot as a sea lion goes in and out. As Lamb poked away by Swisherson. Swisher with the steal. Josh Swisherson. Two hands for safety. Josh Swisherson. We're on a slump. It's not only a three point game. Lamb's going to make it a one point game because Swisherson decided not to play defense. It's Uless. We'll give it to Bolden. Bolden. Over to Markel Fultz. No, Yulis actually kept it. He's going to give it to OG Anunobi, who misses it. Bolden with the board and the put that. Not only up by one. In the la game last episode, the, the C Lions had a very bad second quarter. And once again, it's the second quarter where they're really struggling. Curry's going to shoot the free, though. And his hot night continues. Seth Curry. Right three. As Curry over to OG Anunobi. He's going to give it to Harold. Finds a wide open Seth Curry. I guess he was trying to give Madras Harold that assist. Okay. Yeah. Aaron Fox gives Charlotte the lead after some pitiful defense by Curry. But Seth Curry, 5 for 5 from 3. Yep. He's 5 for 5 from 3. He just missed both of his free throws. That's not good. This Fox, guarded by Jonathan Isaac, who's finally checked in in the game with a minute left in the second quarter as Bertans over to Kaminsky. Kaminsky guarded by Deontay Davis over to Montrose Harrell, I guess, who's been balling out this season. Harrell over to Deontay Davis. Davis! Dunking with authority on Frank the Tank Kaminsky. Oh, jeez. This Fox guarded by Jonathan Isaac. Pick from Davis Bertans. Fox. What's he gonna do? He's gonna find an open Kaminsky. Kaminsky with, it looks like a long two. He's gonna miss. As somehow, some way the Hornets get the ball back in that situation. Uh, and that's an and one. The Sea Lions just did not want the ball there. Ten seconds left in the first half, tied at 39. Bongo over to uh, Jonathan Isaac. Isaac over to Capella, Capella over to Bonga, Bonga's gonna have to let it fly, tricky shot, and it's in! Isaac Bonga, the rookie from Germany, with a buzzer beater to end of the first half, tricky shot too. Isaac Bonga, what a shot. He was bringing the ball up over to Clint Capella, Capella over to an open Jonathan Isaac. Who only needs one hand to make his junk. His dunk, not junk. His junk? What? Anyway, Fultz over to Clint Capella, I guess. Capella's gonna find Curry. Curry! For three! He missed his first three of the game. He's now five for six from three, which is still pretty darn good. As Kaminsky, he will miss that three. Capella up the board. Capella, he's gonna bring it himself. He's not going to shoot the three, though. Over to Eulis. Eulis back to Capella. Capella. Over to Deontay Davis. Davis with the bucket. Will miss an e a very easy shot. 
Deontay Davis over to Eulis. Almost a backcourt from Eulis. That would be bad. Over to Isaac. Isaac trying to drive. Looks like it's going to work, and it did. Jonathan Isaac with a two-handed G. Eulis. That one is stolen by Fultz. Jeremy Lamb bringing it up. Lamb over to Fultz. Fultz almost blocked by Eulis, even though Eulis is 5'8", 5'9". I think he's 5'9". But speaking of Tyler Ewells, he's going to let it fly from downtown. Only Bonga's buzzer beater and Seth, and Seth Curry have made threes. Before that, Ewells gets by De'Aaron Fox. Over to Brandon McCoy. McCoy's going to shoot for three. And he's just going to miss it. Swisherson over to Malachi Richardson. Swisherson with two straight boards. Can he get three? Yes, he does. Three straight offensive rebounds for Josh Swisherson. And it pays off. And one. Fox over to Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay, tricky shot. Trying to show off style there. As Eulis, he's wide open. He doesn't need style because he's wide open and he misses it. Fox finds a wide open Rudy Gay. He's going to make it, isn't he? Yep. That's NBA 2K17 for you. They shoot wide open and crazy shots and contestant shots. Make. We shoot a wide open three. Nope. That's Malachi Richardson's going to shoot for three. Malachi Swisherson. It will be Brandon McCoy inbounding. He's going to find it to a wide open Jonah Bolden, who has had trouble of missing shots in his very young career. He didn't miss that one. I, I, that's a compliment. I know this seem like it's De'Aaron Fox. Just monster, monster dunk. But Jonah Bolden, if you look at his stats, he's only played, this is like his eighth career game, but his stats are, his field goal percentage are like 750 and 667 from three. We knew he'd be a project, but I didn't know he'd be a super efficient project. As Fox will tie it up somehow. Sea Lions just blew a like 10 point lead. As Malachi Richardson over to an open Brandon McCoy tip by Aldridge, but McCoy got it back. And Brandon McCoy! Using two hands for a far away guarded by Isaac Bonga. Over to De'Aaron Fox. Fox over to Kaminsky. Kaminsky blocked by Montrez Harrell. Bonga with it. Bonga over to a wide open Seth Curry. And Seth Curry with some bounce as it goes in. Curry. Guarded by Fox. He's going to give it to McCoy. McCoy over to Malachi Richardson. Richardson over to Bonga. Bonga! With the three-pointer. De'Aaron Fox. Guarded by Mr. Seth Curry. Pick from Kaminsky. Fox over to an open Jeremy Lamb. No defense from OG Ananobi, who is actually a very good defender. Hopefully he doesn't turn into a James Harden. I mean, hopefully he's as talented as James Harden, but not defensively. Is Seth Curry too easy out here? Fultz. Almost stoned by Ananobi. He's going to find an open Jeremy Lamb. Come on, OG. Come on, OG. We got you to play defense. And Malik Beasley's pretty good. I love playing with Malik Beasley. It's Seth Curry. It's too easy out here, my friends. Isaac over to Capella. Capella over to Jonathan Isaac. Isaac! That's an and one. Behind the back dunk. From Jonathan Isaac, him and Seth Curry today have been phenomenal. Only a three-point game with about three minutes left is Rudy Gay. Over to Fultz. Fultz makes it just a one-point game. Hornets are on a 17-6 run. As Eulis. Over to down to Davis. Davis over to Clint Capella. Capella! Clint Capella! Fultz over to Rudy Gay. Gay, nice defense from Isaac. Isaac with the board. Isaac's going to take it himself. He's going to give it to Curry. Curry with the sick layup. Fultz over to Kaminsky. Kaminsky blocked by Clint Capella. Curry with it. Curry for three. Buckets. In the end, the Seattle Sea Lions will win by a final score of 104 to 97. Seth Curry, 9 for 12 from three. 31 points. Isaac. And Bonga both had very solid games as well. Tyler Ewells didn't shoot the ball very well. Capella almost had a double-double. Peace out, people.